So here I am at the point where my project is just about done. I have um, created the various levels. So I made a folder called bonnet. I made a folder called clothing. Um, and each of these have like shadows and highlights or additional layers as I need to. I have my head. And then on the very top, I have that bonnet decoration. So the very last step that you'll want to do before finalizing your project is you want to make sure that you turn off the photograph. So I'm going to do that right now, turning off my photograph. And I am going to um, make sure that it still looks OK. So this is one way to check and see, did I miss anything major or anything super important in this process of creating um, this image. So when I turn this off, what I notice is that I have a couple of holes, especially in the bonnet um, over here, that look a little strange. Sometimes you can get away with it and it doesn't look too bad. Um, but these over here, they do look a little odd. So I think the best way of sort of just cleaning up those areas without necessarily having to go back in and add a bunch to that section, because oftentimes those are like your lowest light, your lowest shadows and that kind of information. So I'm just going to go ahead and make one new layer. I'm going to call this like overall shadows. And I'm going to make sure that that is below the photograph layer. Okay. And then I'm going to find a pretty dark color that I've already used. So I'm probably going to pick this color that I had in my um, hair. And I'm going to use my paintbrush at a pretty big size, probably that size 10 base. And I'm just going to go ahead and color any place where I feel like there should be some information there where there isn't already something there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of do a little bit of coloring in all these spots that um, uh, there should be. I feel like there should be something, but there isn't. Um, and that's going to be kind of your judgment call as far as where those spots are. If you have a lot of them, um, you might consider going back in. If you don't have very many, then you're probably in good shape. So I feel like even now that looks much better um, in that I have found kind of those places where there is a hole in my art and now there isn't a hole. So that looks really good. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, you know, as far as um, comparison to the original. It's always kind of nice to go back and forth. Um, and of course, it's going to look like you and not, you know, the original artist. But we're using some of those colors and some of that technique um, from the artist and just kind of getting a sense of our own self-portrait. So there we go. I hope that you had fun in this process. Make sure you go up here to file and then click export as, and then probably change this to final, complete, or something like that. And make sure that the ending here is .jpg. So just go ahead and type that in, and then when you're done, click export, export. And you also want to save as. And then this should be that .xcf GIMP file type. Um, so final complete .xcf. So you want to make sure you save both of those, both the GIMP file version and the .jpg. OK, I hope you had fun with this self-portrait. I'm sure they are turning out really